our band is here, Fly Moon Royalty, Audra Boo, Mike Ilvester. Delightful to see you two. Good to see you too. Yeah. So same. we were uh, talking earlier. Uh, you were on Art Zone a few years ago, 2011, and uh, yeah. five years. That's a lot has happened in that it's a time. Long time. It's a I long mean, time. we haven't aged a bit. Though. No, but well, you look exactly. You've actually gotten younger. <laughs> well, clearly. Well, but one of, one of the things so that that doesn't change your age. But one of the things that has changed is you have come out with your second full-length record, Delicious Trouble. Is, and just dropped and it's getting lots of buzz and buzz, buzz, buzz. But I was interested in the fact that in tw it was, you started out with that one in 2013 and when you're ready to, getting ready to record them all or drop, you, you decided there, this wasn't right. We need to get rid of some of this stuff. We need to re rewrite some more. Well, it was, it was more at the time we were releasing the record, we were gunning for it. We had a lot of other music. So we actually had an EP that came out called Unfinished Business Perfect. because that's what needed to come out before this record is. Okay. So all the energy and we went on tour and, and all of that. And then once all that settles, we're in 2015 gearing up. And at that point, you know, the record that we made back then, I was like, I, that's when we made that realization. It was like, this is not the record we're releasing. So wow. about eight months ago, I started, I gutted half about 60% of the, the music aspect of mm -hmm. it. And I started rewriting and then we started rebuilding it. And, and you were both in agreement that this needed to shift, this needed to change. Yeah. yeah, we, you know, as we've like learned a lot of things, getting to that point, yeah. you know, ways that I sing things, ways that Mike records things, yeah. it's like, let's like throw that in there, fix it, tighten it up. Yeah. So this album is definitely like the fruit of all that, all of that tightening labor. up. And, and musically, by doing that, by making that big change, did that change the way you write music and create music by taking that risk? Well, that's actually kind of why we did it. You know, we come back yeah. and you know, I, I would, you look at something yeah. and you go, I wouldn't do that right now. Uh -huh. And this, you want, want that record to represent where you are now. Current, current time. Yeah. And so it's tricky because the, re the record process sometimes can be long. So sure. you're like, that's the song I wrote back here, recorded here, and then that's coming out. So yeah. Yeah. we were able to kind of like, really get that out. And in the process, you know, one of the songs we're going to do today yeah. actually was written and recorded in that little window of time. Wow. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, in my, you know, one of our better songs on the record, too. All right, well, you're going to do two songs. And one of them um, is not on the new record, and I believe that's the first one you're going to do. Correct. And it is called? Oblivious. Oblivious. Are you ready to do it? Yeah. We are. Are you ready to obliterate us with Oblivious? <laughs> All right, ladies yes. and gentlemen, Fly Moon Royalty. <laughs> Seems like I've been searching, like I've been waiting, waiting here all along. Not even knowing what I was wanting, going about it wrong. I thought that I would never find that stimulation body and mind. So I gave up, threw in the towel, nothing knows I. Day on the train, no window seats. How was I to know you'd be next to me? I melt 
Saying my song 